and state and read six times. release and return sit fully upright now we do the other side as well so for the next practices take your hands up lean forward this time your left hand will go under the right hand goes on the top inhale first thing lift the face and chest as you exhale just open up the elbows and pull your chin down to the chest Inhale to come up, lift the face and chest. Now we twist. Place your hand nice and across. Twist your spine, try to look out to the side. Stay here for six breaths. If you need more push, you could just use your hand to get more. Just keep breathing in and out. You just have to twist, fall over to the side, and it will start to stretch. Mainly, you should feel a stretch in your back right here, the top portion. Release fully and return. Come all the way up. So we stretched more on the sides, we stretch more on the back. Let's rest for a while, okay? Separate your legs and separate your hands. And allow your back to just settle back, okay? It takes time to settle. So give it some time while you're resting here. Breathe for about six times. If you feel a lot of pain, a lot of of achiness in your back, you could minimize it by bending your legs like this. I would still recommend not to do it and give your back a chance to recover because it can recover by itself. It just depends how tight it is. Once you complete your sixth breath, roll up and sit. You could lift your head up first, use your hands to come up and sit upright. Moving forward to the next series of practices. This time we will use our hands freely. So we are not going to support our body with hands basically, okay? So I'll show you some more. I'll, I'll turn around and show you some other views. So see how you can follow this. Take your hands up first. In this particular position, we'll point the toes nice and forward, like this, okay? Inhale for the first. Exhale, suck your belly, and then reach your arms really, really long, how far you can. Keep lengthening your body until your hands reach beyond your feet. Then bring your head down to the knee. Again, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to try and bend. Stay for six breaths, and things will happen by itself. So the whole idea is, to stay for six
When you want to come up, slowly drag your hands back and fully sit upright. It would be nice to have some music. I've, I should have told you earlier, you should have put some music earlier. Okay, so let's try with your feet nice and together. Pointing your toes again. And this time you're going to change the hand position. So you'll interlock your fingers right there, like this, right behind. Interlock your fingers. Now, in the first round, you'll inhale. And then as you exhale, bend forward. Just keep bending forward, forward, forward. Now there will be a point you can't go any further. This is when you completely exhale, suck your belly, and then bend forward like this. You might have to hold your breath, and it's okay if your knee lift up slightly. Stay for six breaths. Inhale and come all the way up. Now, if you were finding it was too hard to bend like that for you with your hands back, right? I, I could also give you an option to use a towel. But again, you only have to try. Even if you went halfway through, it's okay. Suck your belly and then try a little bit more and more. If you have a reliable partner next to you, you can ask them to push you a little bit forward. So that could be a good help. Yes? So we'll try the other um, position. Put your hands right behind you, okay? We'll show you this way. So see how my hands are joining behind like this? You can choose that or you could simply grab your elbows like this. This could be one of the options. Or keeping your hands back, this is the option. So point your toes whenever you're ready. Inhale. And then as you exhale, hinge how far close you can get. It's okay if your knees are lifted slightly in all of these positions, okay, since your toes are pointed. Breathe in. Breathe out 100%, suck your belly and bend forward, hold for six breaths. Once you're already there, you don't have to worry, just keep your abs tight. You should be able to breathe six times. Inhale to lift all the way up. Exhale as you release your hands. This is the time you rest. Separate your legs, separate your arms. Close your eyes again. Just leave your body, your back may be really achy, but that's the whole idea of stretching your back. Let's come up and hug your knees to your chest for this one. And roll up and sit upright. Now the next practice is, we'll do it with the legs bent and we're gonna open the legs a bit wider to accomplish some different positions, okay? This really intensifies the stretch in your back and also stretches the laterals on the sides. If you feel pain somewhere around your knees, just rock your pelvis a couple of times like this and then you should be able to settle in. First practice is to insert your hands under your ankles. Your toes will be pointed. You inhale first, 
move forward. And then as you exhale, keep reaching yourself forward as you exhale. Bend down, touch your head to the legs, your feet. If you can, bring your head against the heels. Constantly breathe here for five to six times. Now lift your head up. Some of you may try to go a little bit more deeper. You could simply stay here. This is already a good position. Others can try to open the legs a bit wider. In this particular position, you have to stretch your hands outside like this and then slowly walk your feet forward. Bend down to touch your head to the knee or floor. Try to go, your, make yourself really long. Yes, your back will be rounded like a turtle. So the name of this pose, the turtle pose. When you want to come out of this pose, lift the head up first and try to pull your foot back a little by little. This is a bit hard practice to come back in. So it's good to do it on a slippery floor. Let's release and come back in. So right now you should be feeling there's a lot of strain coming into your back, okay? So this is a normal feeling in the back, okay? Because you're stretching the fascia, you're stretching the muscles, you could sip a couple of, you know, you could sip some water and then try to, to feel better again. But this is normal. And now we are going to reset your pelvis with a couple of other practices, okay? To do that, the first will be in a row to do a side bend. So put your hand like this and your leg like this. You could try with one leg. This is a simple option. Some of you can try this. You could also put your leg in the front. All right, others can try with both, like this. So keeping both your legs straight and stretch your hand up. Make sure your chest is nice high, pelvis is low, and just stay in this position. You can look straight or look up, depending on how you can balance, right? Six breath. Keep pressing your left, the bottom leg into the floor. So you stabilize yourself. Four, three, two, and one. Release your hand first, followed by everything else. Then we change, try the other side. Put your hand again, same way. I show you the simple option is simply to keep your leg in the front or at the back, or try with both legs like this. Flexing both your ankles, hold the position and stay as you breathe. Six, keep your chest higher, hips lower. Five, four, you're really making sure your rib cage is lifting up, pelvis stay down. Three, two, and one. Release your hand, leg, and everything else, okay? So, come to the front of your mat. For the next positions, we'll do a little bit of back bends here. So, separate your feet to your hip distance. How about I show you the sideways? Separate your feet to your hip distance. Your hands will go back like this, right under your shoulders, or a little bit further behind your shoulders to start with. When you're going to lift yourself up, everything will align like a table. Lift the hips up. Check your feet under your knees, your hands under your shoulders, and you're all set 
From here, lift the hips super duper high and stay here with your head back if you can. Press your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Take six deep breaths. and lower your hips and everything else down. Now, we have to challenge yourself a little bit more into this practice. So, in the next practice, you're going to take one of the leg up in the air. To start, put your right leg down. Lift your hip up. Stay here as an option one, or take your left leg up. Doesn't have to be very high, just up is good enough. Hold, push with the right hand, left leg, six, five, four, breathe, three, two, one. Put your feet down and lower your body. Let's try the other side. So you notice that in hard positions, your breathing goes a little bit faster and that's normal. So working with that together, lift your hip up. And when you're ready, pick your leg up and hold just somewhere and Six, push with the right leg, left hand. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift everything down or just bring everything down and rest. Let's take a couple of breaths here while you're working through. I'll show you a next series of practices where we actually require to balance on your pelvis. Now, if you have a trouble with your sacrum, have some, a blanket or some soft cushion or something to put it right under your pelvis. You can also get one of the pillow under your pelvis to make it work, okay? So, I'll show you. One by one, we're going to do it together as you see me, right? First part, put your hands back like this. Lift your legs straight up with the toes pointed. Hold the position. You could also put your foot like this or this, whatever works best for you. Let's hold. Six. Five. You just have to breathe. Let muscles fight. See what's working, what's not working, what you're using. If you're using a your tummy, is good. Three. Two. And one, release. Let's try without the hand support. Lean back and lift your legs up. If possible, you could try this way, lifting your hands up. Hold. Six. Five. Four. Three. two, and one, release, sit upright. So these practices are a little bit hard, right? You could feel, okay. So we're moving on to the next one. Now it becomes a little bit easy because you can catch your foot. So that is less work for your legs or the hip. So I'll give you simple options as well as we work through these positions. First round is to simply pick your heels up. This is your stage one. This is enough for most of us. Stage two, straighten one leg. Hold for three breath, and then switch the leg for another three breath. Stage three is to keep both your legs straight. Hold the position, keep your spine straight as much as it can. Look, you're not looking for perfection. You're only fighting to stay in that position and be able to breathe. Remember I mentioned to you in yoga practices, it's about being still and be able to breathe. If you can breathe, you're calm and you're still. You're already in the state of yoga.
and release. So you have a couple of options. Let's try another version. We go through the next one. In the next one, you will catch your heels. Again, you lift your feet up and stay into this position. This is your starting position. For the next position, you could either straighten one leg and just stay here, or you could try straightening both legs and keep your spine nice and straight. It doesn't matter. You're not looking for perfection. Just balance there. Six. Five. And keep on breathing. Four. Three. Two. Keep sitting taller. And one. <laughs> Release and relax. Wow. These practices may look quite simple sometimes, but they are intense, right? Here's the last one.